Okay, so this is going on my uh, 320D90. It'd be the same for the late, um, the late E46. This is a five-speed, um, five-speed flywheel. LUK part number four one five zero one five eight one zero. I will put more part numbers in the description for everything. Um, this is the old clutch and that one there. Now this here, this is basically a 550i clutch, but this is a 320 plate. What I've had done is I've had the lining taken off the 550 plate and put onto this 320 one. Uh, they're exactly the same, apart from the centre is obviously different because the... Uh, the uh, six cylinder ones are, um, they got a bigger centre, see? So that was the difference. I wouldn't be surprised if the clutch lining on the E9320D is the same as the 550, and it's just the back plate that's different. Now, you've got to make sure you get the right flywheel. I'll show you the other flywheel in a second, but this is the flywheel you want. It has to be recessed like this, and it has to. You have to have these bolts. There's part number, and you'll see what's different here. This is the pilot bearing. Now I'll just go and show you the flywheel so you can see the difference. Now, if you look at this flywheel, it's very different. Part numbers up there. I will, of course, um, put more part numbers in the um, in in the description below. Now see how the bolts are recessed in this one. So the flywheels are generally not as strong because of that. And uh, this is a standard 320D flywheel. So you've just seen the other one. If you look in the middle, you see the needle bearings. And if you look quite at the back, is a cap on the back that's attached to the flywheel. So that bearing is basically pressed in there. So basically, the original flywheel will take around 500 newton meters and the clutch will actually go to 540 but if the flywheel doesn't do 540 then your clutch is not going to do 540. Now the new flywheel will happily do 650 plus newton meters and the um, 550i clutch, those are rated for about 800 newton meters. So again, I'll put part numbers and lists in the description so you can um, find the parts yourself. So there's a comparison, um, new versus old again. So there's the old one again. Turn it around. As you can see, the bolts are much shorter because if you look in there, they only hold the back piece on. But this is a stronger flywheel because the bolt goes through two surfaces. And um, this is a five-speed flywheel, if I didn't mention it before. Um, this is the original. Should be the same on a late E46. BMW part number is... Two one two one seven five four nine four four one by the looks of it. It's an LUK part, and uh, this flywheel is knackered. You don't turn it that way. You rock it side to side. That's how you test it. If you turn it that way, it's, it's no relevance. It's side to side rock, and this is knackered. So, old clutch. As you can see, it looks almost identical, really. But um, that, that's pretty much a 320D plate, but the, um, the lining is from a 550. Um, I, if, I, if I were to guess, I'd say the lining on these is probably the same as that. I wouldn't be surprised because it looks identical. And um, I think the difference is probably in the pressure plates. I mean... That's the old one, the original, and this is the 550 one. I mean, this is um, 
this is a transport plate so that's got to come out um, but yeah I reckon the force on this is stronger and the lining is probably exactly the same I don't know for sure but it only costs me 30 pounds to um, send the clutch send the old 320d plate and the 550d plate to a clutch place to relight to, to swap the linings over so it was pretty cheap and again like I said better flywheel on the five speed so it's going to be an upgrade for the 320d and it's going to be sufficient for more than the car can actually do Right, so because the flywheel is different and there's no bearing in the flywheel, you have to put a bearing in to the crank. Now, there's no specific measurement for this, but um, if you look there, you can see how far the bearing is uh, recessed in. As long as it's recessed in there a little bit, it's fine. But also remember, in the old flywheel, the bearing was, yeah, if you see in there, there's a cap in, in, in the bottom of there. Let me turn it over so you can see it. There, yeah, see? So there's a cap. So that's what usually goes in to the crankshaft on the original flywheel. But because we're putting this one in, you have to put the bearing in there, obviously. And... Um, that's obviously the pilot bearing for the um, gearbox shaft.